Here we go. A Wing and a Prayer, a short play by Josie Seed. Characters, Layla, the activist. Octavia, the conspiracy theorist. Marie, the spiritualist. Harlow, the artist. Begonia, a fairy. Setting, the apartment of four roommates. Time, current time. It is early evening. The four roommates are in the living room discussing a lecturer they are planning to go see soon. For me, the most appealing thing about Dr. McKembe is her authenticity. I'm so impressed with the way she can objectively articulate ideas from a myriad of perspectives. Remind me what tonight's lecture is on again. The faces of feminism. I am literally salivating. Do you have any idea how deep this is going to be? There are so many layers to this subject matter that we haven't even been to delve into. I'm gonna just wait and see. These things are often just glorified sales pitches constructed for the singular purpose of selling books. Truth be told, I don't care what she talks about. I just love hearing radical ideas shared with such passion. It's like watching theater. Are you wearing that out? What? I'm saying this because I'm your friend and I have your back. That outfit is 50 shades of nay. For different reasons than the shallow purpose of fashion, I have to agree with Harlow. Your attire should be a compliment to your aura. All that gray is dulling your violet frequencies. Don't, don't you dare put on anything purple. You are a summer through and through. Do you have anything orange? Can we go? Nobody cares about fashion. It's a trapping of the man. You know what I wish? I wish that just once someone would see fashion for the art of it. Every time I try to... There's a bright light and a puff of smoke. So much smoke. Begonia the fairy emerges, coughing and waving the cloud away. She is clad in full fairy attire to include a tiara and a sparkly wand. <laughs> Did someone say wish? <laughs> oh, from the amount of oof in that transport, I'd lay ten bags of the Evil Queen's gold on it. Mm, that hope had some huxpa behind it. <gasps> well, wiggle my wings, I happened into the package deal. Such colorful style, but uh, definitely inappropriate for a ball. She adjusts her tiara <laughs> and starts to rev up her wand. <clears throat> All right, then. Who's first? What the bleep is this? Am I losing my ever-loving mind? Do y'all see her too? Oh yes, I see her. She is full stop magnificent. <laughs> I'm serious, Harlow, stop messing with me. See, I told you all that stuff they put in the water wasn't just fluoride and minerals. They are pumping us full of antibiotics and now we're having a group hallucination. Antibody? Nobody here is against an anybody's body. I'm here to dress up your body. <laughs> now do me a twirl and let me see what I'm working with here. I think she's some kind of angel, y'all. I mean, look at her, she's got wings and everything. You are too kind. Flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> a little extra sparkle for you. <laughs> Again, she winds up with her magic wand. <gasps> hold on, hold. could you please stop swinging that thing around? Who are you and how did you get here? Seriously. Oh, 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 I'm so embarrassed. If my head wasn't wearing this spectacularly shiny and freakishly heavy tiara, I may have forgotten it was firmly screwed on to my shoulders. <laughs> Ladies, I am your fairy godmother. Although I'm really way too young for that title. It's just what they call us. I prefer God's sister really, but anyway. I'm here to grant your wish and send you to the ball. Ball? Nobody's going to the ball. Wish? Nobody made a wish. Well, um, actually, I did say something about a wish, but I didn't click my heels or anything. Hmm. You're getting the magic mixed up, friend. Heel clicking is level two magic. Anyone can do that with a talisman, and that's strictly for travel. I, on the other hand, perform level five magic. No. It's, it's far more advanced. Now don't calm at me all at once. At this rate, you only have 15 minutes at the ball and nobody's bagging a prince in that amount of time, unless you're really good. But then who am I to judge? I'm all right. <laughs> Do you always go on like that? 
you're giving me a headache. So you're not an angel, you're a fairy. Yes. And you're here to send us to a ball. Precisely. Well, that settles it. You can flit off back to wherever you're from. We are going to a lecture, not a ball. We're about to get our conscious on. A lecture? That can't be safe. Of course it's not safe. Life is not safe. That's why we attend lectures, to educate ourselves. Fairy, do you have a name? For some reason, calling you fairy feels hello sexist and classist. <laughs> now that's a hard one. Nobody ha ever calls me by my name. It's always, fairy godmother, I want this. And fairy godmother, I need that. <laughs> ask, ask, ask. I'm nothing more than a magical servant, really. Why haven't you reveled under all that oppression? Yes, start by taking back your name. You are a free woman with a mind and something to offer this world. So what is it? What is what? Your name. All oh, right, uh, my name. Give me a second. Peggy. No, no, that's not it. Apollonia. Oh, that's pretty. It doesn't sound familiar. Gardenia. Oh, I'm getting closer. I can just feel it. Bear with me. Um, I can see this going on all night. Begonia. Oh, that's it. <laughs> It's a little rusty, but if we say it a few times, it'll turn right up. Well done, Begonia. Now, see? Don't you feel better already? I don't know how I feel. Healing is not my job. My job is to make sure my charges feel good. Wherever I am, I wait, and then I hear. Well, I don't specifically hear. I more feel delicious, and then pop! I'm off on a wing and a prayer to make those dreams come true. I don't have time. Well, fire breathing dragons, look at the time! Don't start with that ball again. May I ask a question? By all means. Why would you willingly go to a lecture? Don't you want to have fun and meet a prince? This lecture thing sounds so dry and boring and, and kind of like punishment. Mm, I'm with Begonia. We're going to expand our minds to ignite our power as a collective, use our strengths to make a better and more just life for women. You can do that? You just openly go to things and talk about power? So you're a coven of witches! Oh, that explains the odd clothing. Well, you're a mighty attractive coven. If I do say so myself, not a word amongst you. Oh. You've been oppressed so long, you don't even know how to think freely, do you? All I've ever been is a fairy. I've never really thought about it, I guess. I can't imagine what else I'd be. All I've ever been is... Start with who you want to be. What calls spirit? What makes your heart beat faster? What do you dream about? Going to the ball. Come again. I want to go to the ball. I've spent my whole existence dressing up everyone else and sending them off to see the world and dance and love. And I love that. Okay, I really do. And I'm good at it. Actually, I'm great at it. <laughs> but the reason I'm so good at it is that I just dress them up in my dreams. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. You almost made me feel something there. Octavia, stop messing around. I think that's so why don't you go use your magic and just zippity boppity bamboozle yourself to the ball oh that's catchy but it's not the way it works um I can't leave here until I fulfill your wish well I wished for an appreciation for fashion but I didn't say for whom and I also said nothing about a ball unless Ladies, I have an idea. I'm feeling the vibes you're putting on. Let's stick it to the man. Allow me to do the honors. <clears throat> Begonia, I wish you could have your wish 
of going to the ball in full finery. There is a puff of smoke, and when it clears, we see Begonia in a fabulous modern fairy tale version of fairy fabulosity. She marvels at her makeover as she spins. I look amazing, and I feel like my mind has just awakened. How can I thank you all? You better hurry. You'll be late for the ball. I've changed my mind. I think I want to go explore this new female power consciousness. Do you mind if I go with you to the lecture? Mind? Please do. The more the merrier. Well, what will happen to all of those fairy tale girls who need you to make their wishes come true? Begonia is silent. Her countenance falls as she realizes she will be letting them down and won't be able to discover her dream after all. Harlow steps forward and takes her wand. Oh, say no more. I've got this. You're not the only one with dreams. She taps herself on the head with the wand and there's another puff of smoke. She is her own brand of fabulous contemporary fairy. Uh, what are you about to do? I'm off to wake those sisters up in fairyland. This is what I was made for. What do you know? Dreams do come true. End of play.